Let's get to it. We're going to get into AG Arc versus PGFX Wobbles right here in Grand Finals. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not actually sure who win, what who was in Winter Finals. Um, oh, actually, the Arc, did, yeah, Arc, Arc did say uh, he did play Wobbles in Winter Finals, mm -hmm. so he did take that. Oh, wish I had seen the set because then I could commentate <laughs> the things that happened. But all right. So Arc taking the deep breath, going into it. Uh, Arc's no stranger to. Uh, Ark is no stranger to this matchup. Mm -hmm. He's played it quite a bit. And for a while, he struggled with it. He, he played Peach for a while to counter pick specifically against Wobble for a little while. Um, but has since said, you know, he ma finally made that milestone of being able to beat Wobbles with his primary. And he hasn't looked back since. Um, he's kind of had a bit of a rough start here, though, against Wobbles. Yeah, those three very well placed smashes. We'll take the stock super early. Yeah, uh, stuff like that. Um, counter picking Peach against. Uh, ice Timers, Wobbles especially. Sounds like it's a pretty good idea, but you also have to keep in mind that Wobbles has been playing against Peach players for a very, very, very long time himself. Yeah. And so he's, even though it's a matchup disadvantage, he definitely has the experience advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to you know, counter pick Peach against someone like Wobbles, you definitely have to have a very, very good Peach. Yeah, you have to be somebody whose primary is that character. I mean, but even then for a long time, back in AZ, we got him. That was a great Ken combo, you're right. Um, but even back in the a uh, AZ days, um, I mean, you played against top beaches. Even then, uh, that were, they were coming by all the time. So you're, you're right. He's seen so many uh, over the years. So you got to really surprise him. Um, and I think I think surprise is definitely a good way to, to describe uh, Arc Smart. Yes, he is very surprised. He likes the, the surprise F smashes, the, the pivot smashes, the... The craziness. Yes. <laughs> Those moments where I, I've often heard Wobbles describe Ark as uh, someone who you're getting ready to, to DI him for combo. Oh my god. Very Great nice finish. Handouts. Those handouts are phenomenal. But um, he, he's described Marth as someone uh, who you DI to guess the combo is coming, and instead you get you, that DI turns out to be survival DI and yes. is in the completely wrong. And you just get destroyed by wave dash forward forward smash. Yeah, Mark's gonna do some tricky stuff. Huh? Okay. Mm. So let's get. Uh, so it's two beats. Yep, yep. Pretty even game. Is wow. Two stocks in. D6. Oh. Oh. That will put him at a pretty big deficit now, though. Got two clean stocks from Wobbles that don't need to take out to win. It's quite a bit of. It's quite a bit of like him doing good pressure. So he'll DC with Ice Cube and Blizzard, um, and they'll just stay at the edge. And it's just really difficult to, to deal with. Because yeah, you can't get on and you have the power shield to push it back. And even then, you have the, the, the Frost out there to, 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 that are constant hitboxes. Yeah, he's got really good mileage off of the Blizzard. We're doing a kind of fun trick where uh, he's putting the Blizzard out and then just shielding the Popo so that if Ark does somehow hit him out of the Blizzard, then Popo obviously shields and then can do things in punish. And then, you know, if, if the, the Blizzard did connect and it did put him in an advantageous position, just wave dashing in and putting on pressure, getting the grab conversions, getting down smashes, getting the stock. Wobbles making short work of that one, wave dashing off and immediately snatching onto the ledge as Ark falls into the shadow realm. So we're going to go into this next match. The question is where we're going next. Uh, that is a good question. I'm not too sure what Marth prefers in this matchup. Um, he'll probably want one of the smaller stages, like uh, he'll be looking for a Battlefield, Yoshi's Island, Fountain of Dreams. Correct, yeah. Those uh, are the ones that I would go to. Yeah. Yoshi's would be my definite go-to. Yeah, I guess it really depends on what Wobbles is banning and what his preference is. Yeah. Well, I guess we don't get banned since it's... They yeah, just bring it back. Or yeah, this is just two out of three, so we do get banned. Since you do get two okay. three. Uh, yeah, you do get banned, but... Um, the Terry. That down tilt was a bit too close. When you put yourself in the midst of the two of them, you're you're opening yourself up for some problems. Mm -hmm. Oh this uh, Oh my. He's okay. Look at this. All these ice cubes coming out there creating problems. <laughs> he's continuously oh trying to come back onto the stage and completely getting stuffed out. Yeah. Getting completely stuffed out by anything he's been trying to do. Okay, he's got himself onto, onto decent footing now, seems to make something happen. Just quite behind the downer. Okay, he's, yeah, I think he's getting a little bit too greedy. I think right there he should have just killed Nana. Because now he's going to take big damage from this. 
Follow up. Escape his name. That's <laughs> not a getting up, getting up there and getting into the fight. It's putting in work, man. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy. Dude. Oh, that's yeah, the now. Yeah, now he has such a huge lead to come back from. Wobbles is just had tempo and hasn't let go this entire yes. set. Wow, the, the down tilt cla clashing with the, the forward, air, forward smash from behind him. Oh, trying to tip Nana, not quite getting it. No. I mean, that was a bit of a risky kind of move there, too, I think. Yeah, definitely. Because you, you, you're two stocks down. If you miss this, now you're definitely losing positioning. Oh, he doesn't have a double jump. Yep. Good punish, Using though. Marth Killer to set up the forward air. Play that for down, down smash, smash yeah. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Same page. That won't death like that. Because it's so fast, you're almost never DIing it correctly. And that instance what he actually say? was. But yeah, the the move isn't ridiculously strong. It's just you're often caught caught off guard by it, so you DI really, really poorly. And often, I mean, sometimes ICs you see just shoot raw, like they're facing towards them when they go for the down smash. But if they get a little bit of extra time, you'll see the pivot before they do the wave dash back, because the down smash has to come from behind ICs rather than in front. Oh, there it is. the pivot forward smash. Very good setup. Very good read on the approach. Additional forward smash. God. The haymakers. Just throwing them left and right. Yeah, I mean, if they're connecting, you might as well, right? Oh, God. The haymaker, they're not connecting. He's, uh, interesting. He went in for the. He was going to go in there for the forward throw again, but instead, I, I thought he should have gone for down tilt because he was still getting up. Possibly. Oh, yep. That's that Beauty King trick. <laughs> that's sick. The slow get up, and then just conks him on the head. Excuse me, he was below 100%, so just the get up attack, conks him on the head, pushes him back. Yeah, gets the reverse hitbox, so pushes him on stage. That was pretty sick. Wobbles takes first set super clean. We got resetting the bracket. Just needs to get one more set to take grand finals. Oh! So, the, so uh, you, you're familiar with the phrase, first round is data. Yes. I feel like that first set could have been data. Possibly. Um, we'll see what Art can do. He now has a bit more knowledge. He's going to be a little bit more comfortable and more acclimated. We'll okay. see what he does differently. That's a very big string. That's already a lot better than what we've seen yes. from last set, which was uh, just him losing those first shots yeah. quickly. I feel like that's what Art's been trying to do, trying to just get a hold of Wobble and then just ending it stock whenever he gets the first time he touches him. And that's the first time he really succeeded in that game plan. I think forward throw for Marth works here still uh, because it'll knock uh, Soko into Nana, correct? Uh, possibly. Is there still time to punish afterwards? Like, especially if she, you can crowd cancel that hit and then like down smash. He went for the desync, sent Soko up top, and was gonna grab him uh, after you see Nana throw him up to the top platform. Nice blocks. Oh yeah, that will be punishable. Hoping to get the forward smash raw off the forward throw, but Wobbles DI'd it correctly. Oh, the Nana Bolt. <laughs> I love Nana Bolt. It's so <laughs> Just the name of it, Nana Bolt. Like the idea that you're you're catapulting your friend into the fray to, to fight for you. <laughs> Here, take care of this one, please. <laughs> Ooh, nice. He crouch canceled that and then immediately went to reverse up the. Mm -hmm. Better knockback than forward smash would have been at that space. I'm right next to him. Yeah. Less knockback coming from the hill. Oh, grab. For the F smash. Yep, there. Good. Very nice spacing. Very safe on the field. Oh, that there it is. No? No? Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Bubbles has his footing underneath him now. Still good here. Good F smash. I. This, those are, all those moments are me like looking at it and like I would have down tilted. And every time I think <laughs> yeah. I would have down tilted, uh -huh. he forward smashes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mojo's saying that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, this this is what makes this is what makes Arc unique. This is what makes it special. Is those moments that we feel like we should just down tilt or we should just do something different. And like, he takes more. <laughs> and he just, yeah, he's hungry. Oh, didn't quite get the spike down there. Oh, yeah, you see there. He actually got the forward throw. He got it to, to hit Popo, but got crowds canceled down tilted. Even at 60%. Ooh, the down B making things difficult. Nice. Oh, and the quick. See, he just moved back a little bit. Just like, oh, this is all your space. You can take it. Then immediately slipped back in and just down smash all of it. 
Okay, Whoa. there we go. We're moving Nana from the picture. That's what I think he needs to do. I that's think that, that's what should be done. Even if, like, Marth can have some trouble actually ending this stock, it is, I think that's perfectly okay as long as you just get Nana out of the picture and remove his damage that he'll be dealing to you. Yeah, I, I mean, there's there's a logic behind it, right? If, if you can remove it without hurting yourself... Without hurting yourself, well, that is the important part. Yeah, <laughs> don't, to, don't get hurt yourself. Not, I suppose that is you know something that Ark may be consciously not trying to go for Nana too much so that... Oh, Jesus. That was fantastic. Yeah, because Wobbles, I imagine, is very, very good at protecting Nana and punishing people that decide to overextend when trying to put damage on Nana. Look at this. Ooh. Fantastic oh. grabs into a conversion. The dare takes him out, and Ark is now on the board yes. after this bracket has been reset by Wobbles. Wow. You see there at the end, the Wobbles actually tried to get a dash grab in, and it actually physically connected, but he was grabbing Nana and throwing her at that point in time, so the grab didn't do anything. And that's what actually led to the opening where Ark just took his stock. Because he went to grab. It's crazy. This was so sick. Okay, cool. <sighs> Ark got a lot, of, a lot of damage on the board already. Yeah. That short out backer out of shield is a surprisingly threatening out of shield option. He's going to take the time to yeah. split the two, but yeah. as a result... He doesn't get put on stage. Down. I think that's okay, though. As long as he doesn't die, which he didn't. He made it back. He's all right. I, I think it was the right decision. Yeah, I, it looks like it is because he's managed to survive from that down smash initially. Uh, I think he's, he's still good. He, he, he'll just make the ledge. No, he's done. He's done. Okay, so... The... The way I classify a mistake is if it takes if it's 15, 10 to 15%. That's why like I if I have to put a number on it, I say 10 to 15%, that was a problem. That was a bit too much. And granted it's relative from character to character, but that's just me doing a generalization for me. Yeah. Um, but if I also but there's also other ways to look at punishment as in stage positioning, mm -hmm. as in control, as in tempo. Council? Oh. No. Yeah, the wave land on the stage from Bobo. Very, very, very fast. Yeah, I think Ark will actually have a bit of a trouble ending the stock on this stage since it's so big. Nightbacker will take it at 150%, but he does need to rack up a lot of percent or Bobo will die. Which is kind of odd, because you look at, you know, like Sopo's recovery, and you're like, wow, that recovery is completely awful. Like, why shouldn't that character ever be living at all? But Bobo just makes it happen somehow. <laughs> Ice cubes off the ledge is like, sometimes it's like actually a legitimate way to do it, uh, to just edge guard because you keep having to drop it down on top of your heads um, as long as they're spaced correctly. Yeah, especially threatening if you can manage to put them in a position where it will cover the arc of their double jump. Yes. If, you hit, if you hit someone out of their double jump, they're basically dead. Like they're, the options that they have to recover back to the, the stage or the ledge become extremely limited and generally not difficult to recover. Oh, the forward smash gets stuffed out by the downer. Wobbles have been using the, the back throw, interestingly enough, to set up platform tech chases. Because I, I suppose at this percent, the down throw won't actually combo against Marth. Or not you know, combo worth doing, I guess. Ooh, Ooh, very good bait. Didn't try to punish the dash grab itself. Just dash dance just out of reach. Try to bait out a counter attack. Okay. Drops to the other side, goes to the down smash. Oh, he is reading these grabs so well. <laughs> Wobbles is moving. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So quick. Whoa, gosh. Dodge the bullet. He tried to put himself over the stage before that he knew that the dare was coming from Ark. Ark wants to finish stocks badly. Yeah, he needs to. Yeah, with, with this kind of percent on him, it's going to be really, really, really hard he, to come back. I think he can just up tilt. Yeah, see? He, can he was going for the floaty killer. He was going to go side B up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 it's beautiful. The jabs. These guys are so terrifying. Mm, interesting. Okay, Wobble's gonna come in here, fully loaded with Nana. Yeah, he doesn't need much. He needs back, back air, air, down smash, grab. Back air will do it. Yeah. That'll try to deal with. So, a shot being answered back to Arx. Wobble's in. You know what? That's, that's a nice game. I'm going to shut you out here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get a game three here after the bracket was reset. 
Where are we going? FOD? It's like FOD. Uh, this isn't... This is an interesting pick. Um, because in theory, you can see how the stage can, can help everybody in some ways, depending on like where the heights are for the platforms. Or sometimes they don't exist at all like that. Yeah. Um, but regardless, you will be able to see Mark being able to tip, uh, tip through Ooh. these platforms. Or even tip in neutral, just like that. Uh, wow, Nana live too. Crowd getting behind him. <laughs> okay. Those are those low fares to the ground that I'm talking about. Making sure you're using C as you're doing it. Nice F smash. Trying to get Popo with Nana, but still worthwhile. It's great position. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna cost him. There it is. Good back air. Okay, so this is this instance that because he's at such a high percentage, he's just gonna shuffle him off the stage. He's down tilt, back airs, fares, things like that. Um, he doesn't necessarily have to take the risk of a forward smash. Yep. Wow, still not killing. He's at 150, dude. Oh. Uh, yeah, he needs to find a way to end his stocks. I guess Sopo has been living forever. That's that's a big problem in yes. this match. Has been that, and, and with, with Wobbles in very, general, very he does a great job of just sustaining. He has yes. great DI, and he's been doing it, uh, having great survival DI, sorry. And that's been sustaining him throughout the, these matches. He gives him that little extra credit that he needs to get the edge whenever he brings in Nana for that next stock. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's very difficult in that sort of position. He couldn't push forward too hard to try and hurt Nana because Popo was waiting back there. Very good jab grab. Nice. Launching him into this heaven. Oh no, that still has a double jump. But that was a great tech. And the reason why he did that back air there, make sure that he stayed close to the edge. Unfortunately, whenever you tech to the wall, uh, you get sent out at such a long angle that there's no way that Art, that Mark can actually come back unless you back air. Yeah, you have to back air. The back air actually resets your ability to uh, control yourself in the air, control your, your horizontal momentum. Ooh, a bit too close when he was going for the down tilt. Got him. Ooh, there we go. Hongjo in the back, you can hear him getting around, getting rowdy. I love it. This is one of my favorite things about Mojo. Using those platforms to sort of controlling forward air, super safe. Ooh, wow. The ability to dash through. You just have the cojones to go through. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't care if you're going to here. That's oh, sick. Oh, the damage. This is real bad. He's still living. Oh, he not a... Throwing herself off stage. That's okay. I don't think Wobbles really needs her at this point in time. No. Pretty sure he can live with that. Because all he, yet again, it's the same scenario of is he going to down smash? When is he going to? Oh, watch out. Whoa. Will be interesting. He's saying oh, he's that down smash was definitely not intentional. He tried to play whack a marth with a board smash. <laughs> Edge guard? No. Ooh. Close Queen to the hill, though. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not going to be enough, especially with the way the Wobbles have been DI. Yeah. Excellent, floaty killer. He you saw the slight walk there. He was trying to see if he could get range to make sure he could the tip or forward smash if he poked his head over the ledge. But that's that going to be down it. Down smash, we'll take it. Great stuff to Wobbles. Doing phenomenal work. Uh, it's not his flashiest finish, yeah, but, but it's his solid finish. That is a very, very solid finish, yes. <laughs> Using that Sopo as just the rock, the foundation of how do you win if you can't kill your opponent? Yep. Ooh, there we go. Look at this. But oh, Ark yeah. no slouch himself, having those moments where he just showed off the flashy mm -hmm. stuff. Multiple forward throws there, where he and and while he was in the middle too, which was just boom, 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 yeah, boom, yeah. and then dump. It was brilliant. Very, it was, very good. It was really sick to watch. Um, but Termit goes to wobbles yet mm -hmm. again.